Hey everybody, welcome back to your practice. I want to give a special welcome to all of our members at theyogamat.com and to anybody that's watching a little bit later here on our YouTube channel. Today we've got another power yoga practice. Uh, so grab a block if you normally use that, maybe a belt, and then head over to your mat and we'll get started. And just remember, if you ever want to join me for a class in person, I teach in Pleasureville in Middletown in Kentucky. I can just check out that QR code there at the bottom or head to theyogamat.com. So let's come on up to the top of your mat and we'll get started. So let's bring the big toes together, heels to the side. And take your hands to your heart. Let's close your eyes. Let's go ahead and find that deep breathing. And breathe in deep in and out your nose. And then just letting the air rush against the back of the throat. And take one more breath in. And then as you exhale, relax your arms down by your side. Open your eyes, inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, have a little bend in the knees, hands down. Taking your hands to your shins, lengthen, look up. Exhale, step to a high push-up. And drawing your navel in, lower down to a hover. Upward facing, roll to the tops of your feet. And then downward dog, and take it back over the toes. So we'll just set the feet up about hip width, and then the hands will be about shoulder width. And then if you'd like, you can pedal the feet. We'll just kind of go back and forth a, a few times here. You can bend one knee, bend the other. The heel of the straight leg, we're reaching it down toward the floor. Now I'm taking a few more rounds just like this, going back and forth a few times. And then go ahead and start to reach both heels down. Bend your knees, look forward, step the feet up. Lengthen, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, back to center. And again, inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, look to the horizon. Exhale, step to plank. Navel in, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward dog, try to roll the shoulders back, look up, and downward facing as you exhale. Good. And then again, if you want to get into your calves, pedal your feet. If you just want to reach the heels towards your mat, you can do that. Or you might want to have a little bit of a bend here in your knees. So if it's, again, we're still in that warm-up, the hamstrings might be feeling a little bit tighter. If they are, we're just soften the knees. Yeah, so relax your head, look right back between the feet. And bend your knees, look forward, step it up again. Lengthen, look up, exhale, fold. Inhale, back up, and exhale, back to center. Let's do one more round, inhale, lift the arms. Exhaling, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to plank, and lower down again. Upward facing, try to lift the thighs up. Downward dog, exhale. Okay, let's work on spreading your fingers wide. Pressing your palms down into your mat. And try to broaden through the shoulders. Let's take just a few more rounds of deep breath here. And bend the knees, look forward, step the feet up again. Inhale, look up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, back up, and exhale to center. So pause here, take a couple rounds of breath here. And we're using these sun salutations to try to get a rhythm going here with the breath. So the 
You know, the ujjayi breath, we're trying to build heat from the inside. And again, it makes a little bit of noise once you get it going. Now let's bring the feet together, bend the knees, and come to chair pose. Reach the arms up. Exhale, straighten the legs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale to plank. And plank to chaturanga. Upward dog, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. Let's step your right foot forward between your hands. You're going to come into a crescent lunge. Inhale, lift the arms up. So crescent, we want to have that back heel off of the mat. Try to lift it as high up off of the floor as you can get it. And you're going to bend down into your front knee, and it's more or less going to stack on top of that ankle. And then you want to lift your gaze up to your hands. And with that next towel, release your hands to the floor, step to plank, and lower to a hover. Upward facing inhale, downward dog exhale. And then the other side, left foot stepping forward. Inhale, come back into that high lunge. And so same adjustments as we did on the other side. Back leg, you want to keep it as strong as you can. Try to keep it straight. That should help keep your balance here. Tilting the tailbone toward the floor. See if you go a little deeper stretch there at that hip flexor. And again, your gaze, your drishti, it's looking to one single spot here. And exhale, release, take your hands to the floor. We'll step to a high push up and lower down. Inhale to your back bend. Downward facing, exhale. Again, coming back into that breath. Uh, if you ever want to stop and take a little rest, you know, at any point you want, don't have to wait on me, you can drop down to child's pose. So let's go ahead and do that now. Take your knees to the floor. We'll separate the knees a little bit wider than the hips, toes toward one another. And just rest your hips back towards your heels. So again, take child's pose at any point. You need to take a little break during class and then come back to downward facing whenever you're ready. And just try to press your mat a little bit further away here. Take another breath in. And on the exhale, right foot forward. Inhale, back up to a high crescent lunge. And then as you exhale, let's take warrior B. We'll turn and ground that left heel to the mat. Reach the arms out long, relax through the shoulders. And taking your gaze right over to that front middle finger. And with that next exhale, turn your back palm to the ceiling. Take the hands to the floor, step to plank, and lower down. Inhale, look up, exhale, press it back. And then the other side, left foot to a crescent lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, open, warrior B. So legs are probably in a pretty good spot, but again, you can always readjust here as you need to. I'm gonna keep lifting through the inner edge of that back ankle and keep the outer edge of the foot planted down on your mat. And all we're doing is holding here, going through a few more deep breaths. And with that next exhale, back palm to the ceiling, take your hands to the floor, go from plank to a low push-up. Upward facing inhale, downward dog, exhale. Uh, so again, we've got about five rounds of breath here to rest. If you want to take child's pose, you can do that. If you want to stay downward dog, you know, stay right where we are. And trying to keep a rhythm going with the breath, no matter the pose that you end up taking. Uh, 
And with your next exhale, right foot between the hands. Inhale, back to that high crescent lunge. Exhale, back heel to the floor, warrior B. And hold here, take one more breath. Inhale, we'll straighten the front leg, and then exhale, triangle pose. So let's reach with that right arm, and then keep reaching until you can't go any further, and then just let your hand drop down wherever it ended up landing. So that might be the floor for you. You try to work on the pinky side. We're gonna just take that hand somewhere on that leg and then pull your left arm and your shoulder a little bit further open. And with your next exhale, bend that front knee, release the hands to the floor, go from plank to low push-up. Upper dog, inhale, downward facing, exhale. Left foot forward, inhale, crescent lunge, reach. Exhale, warrior B. Inhale, straighten that front leg, exhale, reach forward, triangle. And settling in here, we've got about five deep breaths. I'm just trying to lean the back, lean the chest away from the legs. And shifting your awareness down to your front foot, trying to find the balance even from the left to the right side. And with that next exhale, look down, release the hands, step to a high push-up, lower down to a hover. Upward dog, inhale, downward facing, exhale. Uh, so just a few more rounds of breath here. Try to press your mat a little bit further away. And doing that on the breath in, on the exhale, reaching the heels closer down towards your mat. And then let's step the right foot to a crescent lunge again. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, back heel to the floor, warrior B. And on the breath in, straighten the front leg. Exhale, reach forward, take triangle pose. Let's hold triangle, take a breath in. And hold here for the exhale. Inhale, come back up, shift back into a crescent lunge. And as you exhale, taking your hands to center will twist. Try to take that left arm to the outside of your right leg, and then you can stack your palms. You can take a fist here with this bottom hand. And lifting your gaze over to your right shoulder. And so you could also do straight arm variation here, especially if balance is a little bit uh, more challenging today. You can take that left hand down to the big toe side of the foot. You can give yourself a little bit of space there, and that'll help quite a bit here with your balance. And modified version, left knee can always drop down to the floor. Take one more breath in here, open up into your twist, and then release, exhale, hands to the floor, step to plank, lower down. Inhale, look up, exhale, press it back. Step your left foot between the hands. Inhale, high lunge, exhale, warrior B. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, reach forward, triangle. And then hold here for a breath. Inhale, we'll come back up. Shift into a crescent lunge, pivot to the ball of your back foot. And then as you exhale, hands to center. Again, you're gonna lean forward a little bit. Work the right arm to that side of the leg. Or right hand dropping down to your mat. Left arm up. And breathing loud enough that it makes a little bit of a noise there. You can hear your own breath. And exhale, release. Take your hands to the floor. Plank to low push-up. Upward dog, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. And bend the knees, look forward, step the feet up. 
Lengthen, look up. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees back to your chair. And press to stand, hands to center. Yeah, let's turn around, face the long edge of your mat. So we're going about one leg's distance apart here and we'll flex the quads. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, fall your hands down till they touch your mat. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward again. So let's relax your head. Let's start to walk the hands back a little bit further here. Uh, if you need to, you can get your fingers in line with your toes and just kind of go by the level of stretch you're getting there to your hamstrings. And if it's enough with the hands in front, and stay right there. They don't have to go back anymore. Otherwise, crown of the head reaching down, elbows hugging in shoulder width. And take a breath in, look up. Exhale, hands to your hips, chin to your chest. Inhale, slowly come back up. Let's take a little back bend here, look up. Go ahead and interlace the hands behind the back. And as you exhale, fold forward again. So I'm going to try to lift the arms off the back in this position. You can have a looser grip here with your hands. You can bend your elbows, and that'll help the arms to lift. Or you can work closer toward a fist and straight arms. And inhale, slowly come back up and slide your hands down, look up, and then lift both arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold, reach down toward the big toes with the peace fingers. Take another breath in, look up, exhale, forward fold. So if toes are a little bit too far apart, you can either walk your feet closer together or you can just hold on to your shins and see which one you feel like you're getting a little bit more benefit out of and take that. And try to bend the elbows toward the side. And just relax in your head, looking back between the legs. And take another breath in, look up. Exhale, hands to your hips, chin to your chest. Inhale, slowly come back up. Take a little back bend here as well. Squeeze the glutes, hips forward, look up. And release. Open your arms, bend the knees. We'll step the feet back together. And then turn back around and face the top of your mat. And taking your gaze down to your fingertips. And inhale, lift the arms up again. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to plank. So go ahead and flow through your vinyasa. When you get to downward dog, stay there. And then drop your knees down to your mat. And then you can step your right foot to the outside of that right hand. So we want to go pinky side of the right hand with your foot. We'll try to slide this left leg a little bit further back here. Your right heel on your mat, your toes pointing a little bit off to the side. And take a breath in, look up. And then as you exhale, start to bend the elbows and folding down a little bit more here. Uh, you want to try to get the stretch to the back of your right thigh. And then hip flexor on that left leg. If you've got your knee far enough behind your hip, then you'll probably be able to access that spot. Just a couple more rounds of breath here. And you only got to go down as far as it takes to get into that stretch. So if, it doesn't, if you don't want to drop your forearms to the floor before you feel the stretch, again, you can always just stay up there with your hands on the floor and your arms straight. Let's come back up to the hands. We'll curl the left toes under, lift that knee, slide your right leg back to downward dog. 
Now let's go to the other side. Drop your knees to the floor. Step your left foot forward. And again, we want to take this right leg a little bit further back if that's okay for you. And adjust your left foot. Hands to the inside. Inhale. And then exhale, folding down. And just got a couple more rounds of breath here. Let's come back up to the hands, curl the right toes under, lift the knee, we'll slide that left leg back, downward dog again. And from here, go ahead and drop your knees down to your mat. Roll over your ankles and lie down on the back. We'll hug the knees into the chest. We're just going to rock side to side a couple times here. And then eventually you're going to drop your knees all the way over to the right. We'll take a twist here. So just let the knees stack one on top of the other. The right hand can rest to the outside of that left leg if you want. And then the left arm out to the side. Now, if you don't have the space for it like I, I don't, you just, just bend this arm. About a 90 degree bend. And if the shoulder is pretty close to touching the floor with the straight arm, the bent elbow may help it relax down to the floor a little bit better. And let's come back up to center. And we'll change to the other side. Drop your knees to your left. And open that right arm out to the side. So go ahead and start to lengthen your breath out a little bit more here. And breathe in deep in and out the nose. Uh, we'll come back to center. I'm going to have your feet on the floor hip width. And then cross your right ankle to the outside of that left thigh. Right hand's going to go between that hole you just made there in your legs. And then you can hold your hands and you can interlace your fingers below your left knee or to the back of the thigh if that's a little bit too much. Uh, let's go ahead and start to draw that left knee in closer. And then resist a little bit. Press the tailbone back down toward the floor. And then just that action of Resistance should give you a, a deeper stretch there in that right glute. And it's release, hug your knees to your chest. Set the feet on the floor, and then change to the other side. Cross your left ankle over. This could be enough in the hips. If your knee bothers you here, just let the knee come in a little bit closer. And you don't want to press it away if uh, anything's going on there. But again, if thread the needle is not too much, we'll go ahead and draw the knee into the chest. You want to keep the foot flexing there on that left side. And again, the left knee can draw in closer to the chest instead of pressing it away. Uh, if that avoids any stress in the knee. And release, hug your knees to your chest, and give yourself one last little hug here. And let it go, take your legs out long, your feet about to the edges of your mat, palms face up either side of the hips. And close your eyes. And last couple minutes here for rest.
and start to make your way back up to a comfortable seated position. Hands to your heart, eyes closed. Thanks for practicing. Have a great day. Namaste. Remember, if you want to join me in uh, class in person or if you want to be a member, get access to longer and more virtual classes. We've got close to 700 classes available on demand now. You can check out the code at the end of the video or head to theyogamat.com. I'll see you next time. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that class. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to get a new short form class every week. And if you like what you see and you want to support me, go become a member at theyogamat.com. You'll get unlimited live virtual classes every week and access to our on-demand library with over 500 classes in it. Have a great day. Namaste.